I have absolutely no plans for this video. Hi folks, Harry here, and today I've got a very different video for you. We're just gonna have a little chat. We're gonna have a conversation because you guys have asked me some questions and I'm just gonna answer them for you. So we're going all the way back to 2014 on YouTube where everyone was only doing Q and A's. That's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Five days ago, I put out a post on my community tab, which you should always keep an eye on, asking you to comment your questions, and I'm going to answer some of them today. I won't be able to answer every single question that's been asked, but trust me, I have read all of the questions, and I'm very sorry if I did not answer yours. So the first question is, what are your thoughts on the ending of The Stand? I think it's one of Stephen King's worst endings. The Stand is a big book and it had serious potential. And you may remember in my unpopular Stephen King opinions video, which did surprisingly well, thank you, it's got over a thousand views now. I said that The Stand is overrated at the very end of the video and it left a lot of people in the comments, a lot of people very angry because I did not explain myself whatsoever. My main reasoning for that is the ending of this book. I think it was absolutely terrible. And I'm not gonna explain why because spoilers, but the ending of this was trash. The next question is how and when did you discover Stephen King? I think my first exposure to Stephen King was in October 2018 because I watched the 2017 film adaptation of It with my best friend on Halloween night. It was a sleepover and it was really, really fun. In fact, It was the first horror movie I ever watched, so it definitely resonated with me. And from that point on, I just fell in love with Stephen King. I read It a few months after I watched the film and I absolutely fell in love with the book and I've got all of these, I've read 67 of his books and here I am now. The next question is, what is your favourite Stephen King short story? I have so many and it's gonna be really, really hard to choose. I think Survivor Type from Skeleton Crew is probably my favourite, but I also love The Jaunt from Skeleton Crew. And I really, really like N from Just After Sunset. I finished that story today on audio and it was lovely. I, well, it wasn't lovely, it was horrifying, but I thought that was really, really well done. Also a really underrated one, I loved Obits from The Bizarre Bad Dreams. That one was fantastic. If you want, I can make a video about my top 10 favourite Stephen King short stories, so if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have fun answering this next question. Why is Dreamcatcher your least favourite Stephen King novel? I should also just say that it's not just my least favourite Stephen King novel, it's my least favourite novel of all time. I think ultimately it comes down to bad characters, bad representation, convoluted storyline, an abundance of fart jokes that stopped being funny after the first five pages, and it just got really, really boring. I think the only thing that I like about this book, the only thing that I like about this book is the reference to it. That is it. That is the only thing that I appreciate about Dreamcatcher and the first edition cover, because it's lovely. This book is just a flaming pile of shit. This next one's not book related, but it is, have you watched the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and can I rank them? I have watched the first Texas Chainsaw and thought it was all right at most. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I wasn't a massive fan. And I don't really have much of a desire to carry on with the franchise. Last Halloween, I did so many horror rankings. I think I did four franchise rankings. So if you wanna watch those, you can. They're linked in my movies playlist, which you can find on my channel. But as for this Halloween, I have no intention of watching nor ranking Texas Chainsaw. I absolutely love this next question because it combines two of my favourite things. If I could have one character from Kafka on the Shore be in the Dark Tower series as part of Roland's Quartet, who would it be and why? If you missed my Murakami video, you might not know that Kafka on the Shore is my favourite book of all time. Yes, it beat Firestarter. This is my favourite book of all time. I also massively encourage you to watch my Murakami video because no one watched that video. It only got like 300 views. So please go watch that. I highly encourage you to read Murakami, he's wonderful. And Kafka on the Shore is my favourite book of all time. But if I had one character from this book be in the Dark Tower series, it would definitely, without a doubt, be Nakata. Nakata has the ability to talk to cats, and I'm wondering if that might carry over to Oi, if he could communicate with Oi in Billy Bumbler language, I think that would be pretty awesome. But also I think he is the most unique character of Kafka on the Shore, and I think he could contribute something pretty awesome to the story of the Dark Tower. We've got another Kafka on the Shore related question, and it is Kiss, Marry, Kill, Firestarter, The Dark Tower series, Kafka on the Shore. Bookish drummer, how dare you? I love all of these things basically equally. Kafka is my favourite book of all time, so I've got to marry Kafka. But even though Firestarter is my favourite Stephen King book of all time, I think the Dark Tower series has actually impacted me more. The Dark Tower series has changed my life, it really, really has, and I have such an immense appreciation for the series. But Firestarter is my favourite Stephen King book, it's my second favourite book of all time, and it is wonderful. So 
I can't choose. Can I can can I kill me and then kiss both of these and let these ascend or whatever? I can't choose. I genuinely can't choose. I think, just in terms of how much it's impacted me, Dark Tower wins, even though I prefer Firestarter. So, I'm gonna kill Firestarter and I'm gonna kiss the Dark Tower series. But, just know that I love them both basically equally. Someone's asked me what is my favourite YA contemporary at the moment. I'd say Here the Whole Time by Vitor Martins. I really, really love this book and no one ever talks about it. It's set in Brazil and it was translated from Brazilian Portuguese and it is an LGBTQ plus story and it is just a bundle of heartwarming joy. So I really recommend it. The next question is, have I read Revival and what are my thoughts on it? I have read Revival and I'll tell you something, I'm not a massive fan of it. I thought that it was just an unoriginal story and it flopped in execution. I thought that the ending was pretty good. The ending was actually quite nice. And in general, I love books where you follow a character from childhood to adulthood, and this is something that is featured in this book, but I just don't think it was done very well. If this book was a little bit longer, then maybe I would have enjoyed it more. The next question is a question that I'm gonna really, really struggle to answer, and that is how do I find the book that I'm gonna be reading next? The complete honest answer is, I just sit in front of my bookshelf for minimum 15 minutes, my record was two hours, sitting in front of my bookshelf, looking. That's my process, and it works, I read books, um, and I do eventually find them, like the ones that I wanna read next, but I have no real method. I just let it come to me if it takes 15 minutes or 120 minutes, doesn't matter. I've also been asked if I could be in a Stephen King book or be a specific character from a Stephen King book, uh, what would the book be or who would the character be, if that makes sense. If I was in a Stephen King book, I would quite like to be in Needful Things. Needful Things is probably the most fun I've ever had reading a Stephen King book, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I think if I was in Needful Things, let's be real, I'd probably die. But I think it would be really, really fun, just because everything is just so chaotic, it's absolute mayhem. I think I'd love to be in Needful Things. And to be completely honest, I would not want to be any Stephen King character. Because let's be real, Stephen King puts his characters through so much sh** and I would hate to be one of them. Similarly, I've also been asked if I could meet any Stephen King character, who would it be? I would quite like to meet Edgar Fremantle from Duma Key. I think he would be a fascinating person to have a conversation with, because he has a lot of stories to tell. I've also been asked which character from The Losers Club would I get along with best. I'd say either Mike or Ben. If it was the books, then I would probably say Mike, and if it was the movie, then I would probably say Ben. Someone's asked me, would I ever do videos on my favourite TV shows and movies? I've made multiple videos about horror movies, which I made last Halloween, so you can watch those. I've mentioned those already in this video. And TV shows, I don't watch that many TV shows, so I don't think I would ever make a video about that. The last question that I'm gonna answer is a very, very interesting one. I've been asked if I speed read. Okay, here's the thing. I read fast, I read very fast, but my comprehension level remains quite high. I would classify speed reading as reading so much where you're kind of just skimming. I do not skim, I read everything, and trust me, my comprehension level, it remains very high, but I just read very quickly. So no, I don't think I speed read, but I do read quickly. I think there's a difference. Those are all of the questions that I'm gonna answer in this video. It was a very random video. I kind of did it on a whim when I put out my post. Uh, so thank you to everyone who asked a question. Again, sorry if I did not answer yours. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big fat thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more bookish content from me. All of my social media links are in the description below and I will see you next time with a new video. Goodbye.